Blessings everyone, in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make our own custom thumbnail. So you want to have Canva install, Fonto install, and also if you don't have the $12.99 um, subscription fee, you want to download a free background remover. So once you're in Canva, we're going to search for YouTube thumbnail. Once you have that up, we're going to click on the blank one because we want to start off from scratch. Then, once you have that already up, we're going to go to get a background, and I'm going to go under background and under gradients, and I'm going to click a nice blue one. Once I've done that, I am going to go back, and then I'm going to upload the photo that I want for my thumbnail. And when I have that on the canvas, I am going to click effects, and I'm going to make sure I click on background remover. So if you don't have the $2.99 subscription, you want to do your background remover in your app. You're going to upload that file. We're going to make sure we're going to have that keep button highlighted up top. And you're just going to color in where you want to keep everything. So if you have a different app on your phone, just do what they instruct you to do. Once I'm done highlighting everything that I want to keep, I'm going to click the remove button and I'm going to remove everything in my background that I don't want in my photo. Once I'm done with everything, I can go ahead and save it and then upload it to Canva. So once you have your picture, you want to adjust the size, get it the way how you like it. Once you do that, you want to duplicate that and then put one of the copy to the side. After you put one to the side, we're gonna go ahead and click on effects and we're going to scroll until we see dual tone. So dual tone, we're going to just click cherry and we're gonna adjust the color. So if you want black, just make sure that the highlights and the shadows are the same color. That's gonna give it that solid look that you're going for. Once you have that set up, we're going to take your other copy and drag it to where your shadow is at now. And it's automatically going to place it at the front. So adjust it the way how you want it. And yeah, once you're done that, we're going to go ahead and just click download. All right, so now it's time to go in Fonto and we're going to upload our image. And once we have our image onto the uh, canvas, we're going to click on the pencil and we're going to add our text. So right here, you want to do a little bit of words at a time. So that way you can mess with each line the way how you want it. Now that I have all my text, I'm just going to click on it again, click on style. And now I'm going to click shadow. Oh no, I'm going to click background. So you want to click background and you're going to find the color that you want your background to be behind your text. Once you find the color that you want, you can also use your brand colors too. You see right there where you see all the F's, you can adjust it and make it the color that you want. So I have yellow and I'm going to click on shadow to uh, have a little shadow effect behind my text as well. So I'm just going to click on white. So now I'm gonna click on tilt and that's gonna help me tilt my words as well. So I'm going to do that for all letters and move them or tilt it if I need it. And yeah, adjust the size as well. And yeah, you can even curve your words too, but I'm not going to do that. But you can just play around with this fonto. And you can also, with your text, you can also use the text that you download on your phone as well. So just have fun with this, okay? So once you're done, you can just click save and you're done. You just completed your own custom thumbnail. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you.